Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about NOF Dry Therm Cavity Wall Insulation Products. Dry Therm Cavity Slabs are water-repellent glass mineral wool slabs designed for use in external full-fill masonry cavity walls, offering a range of thermal performance to suit construction requirements. This video aims to provide a comprehensive comparison between these two variants, delving into their thermal performance, intended use, available thicknesses, pricing, and overall cost effectiveness. If you can please like the video and subscribe to the channel, it really helps us produce better content and more of it for you. Nalf Dry Therm Cavity Slabs are manufactured using Ecosy technology, a unique biobinder-based technology that makes the glass mineral wool insulation more people and environment friendly. Let's look a little bit into how they are made. The main raw materials used to make it are molten glass, sand and recycled glass. The raw materials are melted in a furnace at a temperature of around 1,500 degrees Celsius. The molten glass is then spun into thin fibres using a centrifugal process. A bio-based binder is added to the fibres to help them bond together. The fibres are then cured in an oven to harden the binder. The cured fibres are then cut into slabs to the required size. The slabs are then packaged and palletized for shipping. Now let's talk about the benefits of dry therm and also some of the differences and similarities between the 32 and 37 varieties. Thermal performance. Dry Therm 32 has a lower thermal conductivity than Dry Therm 37, which means that it is a better insulator. In fact, the 32 and 37 are in reference to the K value of each, which is a measurement of their thermal conductivity values. The lower the number, the slower heat is able to transfer through the insulation. Acoustic performance. Knauf Dry Therm 32 and 37 both have good acoustic performance. 32 has a slight edge in terms of sound absorption. This is because 32 has a higher density and finer fiber structure than 37. Water repellent technology. Dry Therm 32 and 37 both use a water repellent technology. They are not waterproof, but it is highly resistant to water absorption. This means that the insulation can withstand occasional exposure to water without losing its insulating performance. Fire rating. Both products are A1 Euro class rated as non-combustible, meaning that they will not burn in the event of a fire. This makes them a safe choice for a variety of applications. Intended applications. Dry Therm 32 is typically used where high-performance insulation is required on residential buildings and commercial buildings. Dry Therm 37 is a good choice for standard cavity wall insulation in residential buildings. Available thicknesses. Both Dry Therm 32 and Dry Therm 37 are available in a variety of thicknesses to suit different cavity widths and insulation requirements. Pricing. Drytham 32 is more expensive than Drytham 37, but it is also a more effective insulator. If you are on a tight budget, then Drytham 37 is an excellent choice to keep costs down. The overall cost effectiveness of Drytham 32 and Drytham 37 depends on a number of factors, including the type of building, the climate, and the energy costs. Now, Drytham insulation products are a great choice for homeowners and contractors in the UK who are looking for a high-quality, energy-efficient and environmentally friendly cavity wall insulation solution. For more information, visit our website, Buy Insulation Online. The link will be found in the description. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us produce better content and more of it for you guys. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.